What is this? The order's light. I think it should be all there. I don't give a fuck what you think, pal. You got a job a robot could do. You show up here missing half my shit? I'm sorry, I didn't pack that. Thing. Put your hands down. I didn't pack that. I'm sorry. Step toward me. Sorry. Don't bother coming back. I'm sorry. Scumbag. I never believed in heaven. But I know hell is real. That's because I'm there. Forget the fire and brimstone bullshit you learned in Sunday school. It's not a physical space you go to. It's a mindset. An all-consuming obsession stuck in the back of your head like a bad song. Hell is the grind. Hell is hearing bastards sell you the lie that the only reason you're not like them is because you don't work hard enough. What they don't know is that hell isn't down here in the grime and the dirt. It's out there plain as day. Sinners bathed in lights. As much as they look down at us, sitting beneath them day by day, all we have to do is look up to see that hell has a fresh coat of paint. Hold on a second. What the fuck happened to you? I'm not gonna get into it, Lucky. Have a seat. the only guy this happens to. Okay. I, I... Do you want my advice? Use those big ears Scott gave you. And listen up. You got one more job to do tonight. No. I... I can't. We know these guys. The fish market near the park. High priority and very particular. I'm done after this. I don't give a shit what you're doing after this, pal. Look. You're a damn good errand boy. I don't know what's gotten into you lately, but I'm not gonna let you tarnish our reputation. Of course, boss. I got it. Good. I hope so. You play with yourself a lot, do you, Heidi? If I knew a life like this was going to involve pigs like you, I would have stayed straight. Straight, huh? This was supposed to be country of opportunity. A place where everyone was equal and free. You must be new here. I found out the entire godforsaken place is occupied by people like you. Italians? Morons. I came for a slice of the pie. And what the fuck did I get out of it? This? I don't know about you, but I'm gonna be the next John fucking Gotti. How you doing? 
Mm, it's cute to have goals. No, 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 no. Not goals. That is called the American dream, Dutz. Mm. You Americans and your dreams. Children have dreams. Adults just do. So, what are you doing? Hammer, I meant to ask before, uh, you seemed a little pissed at us. We cozy? You two didn't grab what I asked you to grab. So I had to make a call. Don't pin this on me, boss. It's done, it's done. The guy gets here, we'll take care of him. Lucky said 15 minutes. Yeah, better be 15, or else. Hey! You listen here, you tiny Ginzo. The one thing that allows this entire operation to run smoothly is respect. It's the field that keeps all this going. The entitled, the overprivileged, the cocksuckers look their noses down at the working man. That's not me. And it be you. These lights! Why haven't these fucking lights been fixed yet? You boys done measuring your dicks? Fuck it. Deal me back in. I envy the dog sometimes. Americans are drunks who have lived so long like this that they can no longer smell their own failure. They become nose blind to the rotten stench of falling asleep every night, enveloped in their own filth. Tito doesn't know this. Tito gets pet. Tito gets loved. Tito doesn't know what I have to do to put the food in his bowl. The good thing is that Tito doesn't know how bad things are. He doesn't see the reminders everywhere that a better world could exist. What doesn't? Would you do whatever it took to keep me happy, Tito? A treat? A belly rub? A walk and a bed at the end of the night. I'd like to think you would, but... I'm already late as it is. Three kings. Trip aces. Seven two. <laughs> I'm fucking done. I'm done because neither of you respect my bets anyway. Every time I raise, you fuckos call. Nobody respects my bets around here. And how am I supposed to bet anyway with the pipes banging in my ear, they making me think I won the hand? I, I can't take it. I can't take it. And one more thing, just one. Where the fuck is this guy? If you're so worried, why don't you call him? You know what, Heidi? I will. Because he's got no idea who he's dealing with when it comes to me. A miniature Italian boy? 
<laughs> you want to talk about respect, Hammer? He should show up on time when he tells us he's gonna. You think bothering him on the phone's gonna get him here any quicker? Fucking Stunad. Oh! Oh my! No, you can't say that word. That is our word. You know. It's your what? Hmm? It, it's. It, look, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's my grandma. I'm, look, I'm gonna call him and just see where he is. No big deal. Everyone stop freaking out. Stunad! <laughs> <laughs> How much for the food? Uh, three bucks. You know, I, <laughs> I painted that. The food. started that painting, the, the purples and the greens, they just kind of merged together for me. And when I started painting the trees, I felt really just connected. It was I'm better go. Yeah. No, I still got time. No, I ran out of gas. I can, I can make it. Hello? Fuck. all the money back in insurance but it's everything to those two maybe they have the right idea
Patrick is not addicted to gambling. They're addicted to hope. Never thought you were gonna make it. Why don't you come in and unpack it for us? Make sure we're square this time. I really can't. Uh, I appreciate it though. I, I gotta get back. And uh, I got a dog in the car and... We really insist. You know, I'm a bit of a socialist. Ugh. What I'm saying is I'm sympathetic to the plight of the working man. We appreciate everything you do. What if... What if I... What if I could... could do more? Oh, great. Another one. It's... It's my turn now. It's not a big... Big secret what you guys do, it's not hard to read between the lines. You you know I won't fuck with the goods, and, and you know I won't cause any problems. You call me, I show up. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes to cut my slice of what's available. And I I know that I can do more than what I'm doing now. Child, you don't know what it means to do whatever it takes. You think you're able to take a life? You cry like you found the bottom, but I know you. Your legs dangle above the bottom, trashing around, close enough to feel it, but far enough away to stay clean. Look, if you're looking for a little appreciation. We've been ordering for you guys for years. The past couple times, you've looked really tired. Hell, you came all the way out here tonight, even though it was after hours. We appreciate it, Bubba, even though it doesn't always seem that way. That's very generous, but I'd rather earn it. Look, buddy, here's how I'm gonna give it to you. This is not the kind of life you just opt into. You don't simply apply, there's no interview process, you don't get the luxury of choice. None of us did. Everybody's good at something. We all keep the world moving in one way or another. And I get it. Everybody says they'll do whatever it takes, but the world don't need a million stars. Sometimes, all it needs right now is a delivery driver. Hmm? You get what he's saying? Hey, you'll always be a goddamn good delivery driver. to push a boulder up the hill for all eternity. And 
do you know what the real kick in the sack was? When it got to the top, it all rolled back down to the bottom again. I wonder if the gods gave him a Zeno before it fell. Do you think they would patronize him like that? I doubt it.